some ruins up there. Off oh, the dam here, just around the corner, we've got uh, the uh, local boats all moored in shrinking water. They're getting smaller and smaller by the look of it because of the drought. Uh, our road for the whole afternoon hasn't changed, it's been absolutely brilliant. I don't know where we are, but uh, Bandas Sonoras, speed bumps? Uh, I'm going to have a look at that soon. I can pull over here. Yes, they're on, they're on. N320A uh, Nice uh, road through the hills Sunny Spain And a uh, big good morning to all <laughs> uh, Hola The wall that you see on the left hand side has been going for kilometres and kilometres and it's divided into paddocks out the back as well. It's just been kilometers of, and we've just been past some Roman ruins, which have probably got something to do with all of this, but there's just miles of uh, stone wall. Uh, certainly uh, in comparison to Ireland as well. Uh, you can see this just keeps going and going and going. Uh, you'd have a sore back after doing that. We're heading towards the hills and still pushing forward towards Portugal. Hello. Uh, probably, uh, oh, I'm not sure where we are at the moment, um, but we're coming down the hills into uh, some sort of a town and uh, there's a load of olive plantations everywhere you look. Every hill's got them terraced and growing olives around here. Um, and a lot of cooperatives, you know, obviously for the smaller towns. Um, here we go. Yeah, there's a an alphabet for a name of this town by the look of it. Yeah, beautiful countryside though. And uh, yeah, olive trees everywhere, they're scattered over every hill. <laughs> All uh, again, just doing uh, a bit of a hill climb. Uh, and the views are really spectacular. They're really, really nice. Again, they've done so much terracing to get their olive trees in. You can see all the way up that hill. Interesting windows in that place. Very uh, beautiful weather today, too. It's perfect for this road. I wouldn't like to do it in the wet. And uh, all the towns, uh, we've been through many little towns like this. Um, people seem to be out. Uh, they're doing their beautification projects. I'm guessing they must be getting some funding from uh, the EU to do it. Um, it's an interesting house up the top. Um, but yeah, they're tidying up their towns because uh, some of the ones that we've seen that haven't done any of it are absolute, like they're living in squalor. Um, the buildings are falling down. And 
um, there's water everywhere it's uh, just very messy but the ones that they're tidying up they're doing a really good job they look pretty and uh, nice stone face to the buildings just to give them a bit of a tidy up it's good we've been doing these switchbacks for I don't know probably 15 minutes now and they don't stopping I can see on my screen I've still got uh, quite a few to go but, uh, well, we can see the rock here it's amazing. that would have been a good job cutting into that and making this road but we're well into the pines uh, 895 meters at the moment so I'm guessing it'll be over a thousand by the time we get over the top uh, it must be getting close to the border with um, Portugal now Hola. Uh, we've just come over the top of uh, the mountain and it's scorched earth over here it's just amazing I remember there was big bushfires going on in Spain when we first arrived in Ireland and uh, I'm guessing this is one of those areas anyway so many hectares of uh, trees just burn kangaroos or koalas died from the fires Uh, riding along the road and uh, come to this place all abandoned and probably no roof on I guess uh, but yeah very interesting lots of these places around it's quite big though this one yeah well there in Portugal uh, I guess uh, to speak the lingo, it's Nando's uh, crossing a river. Let's have a look and see what's in here. Not a lot. Not a lot. Benvindo. Okay. Yeah. The uh, highway has somewhat shrunk <laughs> a bit, and it's a bit wet out here too. It must have had some rain fairly recently. Yeah, we're on the hunt for Tucker, and uh, we went through the last place we went through. Uh, couldn't see any restaurants or anything, but we could sniff. Someone was cooking something good, and uh, we wanted it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're still going, heading on to the next town, a place called Malkata, uh, is what we're heading to. It didn't look too far away. I'm just going to be very careful that I don't meet a tractor or something on this road. It wouldn't be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what animals they have in Portugal, other than uh, the chickens. 
Yeah, and the cows and the goats that we've seen. Anyway, we shall see. Just leaving Malkata. Very dry looking dam here. That's for sure. Nothing in town to talk of, just uh, a few houses and all, but uh, we're still on the hunt for food. And uh, I guess we'll find it soon. Yeah, as we leave as we're leaving Malkata, uh, my two I see is learning uh, how to greet and order uh, some tucker for us in readiness for our next uh, door that we walk through. And uh, I suggest she gets a bit of study on for the ordering of a couple of beers because we'll get the important stuff sorted first. Get over. Fitty. Why have we got Fitty? On. We're just approaching uh, Porto. Uh, right on, well, very close to the coast in Spain. No, in Portugal, sorry. There's a hell of a lot of apartments there. Although it's only the tip of the iceberg, we just came over the top of a hill back over that direction. And uh, there is a massive, massive city. This is huge. I don't know what the population is, but... Uh... Hola. Another day. And uh, Google has led us into a little back alleyway, which is turned out to be the edge of the landing strip for the local airport uh, or aeroporto and uh, yeah very interesting just popping up and I thought why is all this razor ribbon wire over the top of the road it's obviously just to keep people from climbing up and over okay that's it for the day narrow uh, waterway down there it must be dammed underneath us on the bridge we've just coming around it's a nice view that's for sure and the road we're on is also very very nice too uh, just sweeping bends all the time like that it's uh, so nice Beautiful day today. What do we got here? Ah, back into Espana, a thousand meters away from here. And we see what it presents. Yeah, going on a holiday. Gonna push bike uh, my way around the country and load it up with weight. That would be great fun. So yeah, uh, that's that's all uh, to uh, Portugal and uh, pretty much the same to uh, the Spaniards. We're here. Yeah. Hey, restaurant we're actually surprise surprise we're on the hunt for food again so um, yeah we'll see what we can find we've got a waterway beside us so maybe someone's built a restaurant on the edge of it you never know so adios amigos
still are. And uh, the road has just continued with just sweeping bend after sweeping bend. It's uh, been brilliant. Uh, just following along the waterway and uh, we're going to head across a bridge now. Uh, yeah, we continue. Don't you dare, mate. And uh, we'll get a little bit of a look on both sides. Not much on the left. The right is pretty good. Yeah, it looks like there's a load of like old Roman bridges and roads and uh, like paddocks, I suppose. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? We got two bars of fuel. Let's get, pull into Repsol and give Nancy a drink. Once again, we're descending a mountain and uh, enjoying commanding views of the valley. Uh, it's really beautiful scenery around here. We still have some remnants of the, I guess, the Roman days. Uh, as we come around, there's little bits and pieces of walls and bridges and things like that. Uh, very interesting to see. Yeah, there's... Uh, I'd hate to be stuck behind a, a couple of cars or something on this road because there's no straight bits to talk of, uh, so overtaking would just be... Uh, take a breath and go <laughs> um, yeah the, the Spanish roads as we're back in Spain now the Spanish roads do not uh, disappoint that's for sure this is about the longest straight bit we've seen in I don't know, three quarters of an hour. Just had beautiful roads. No. Hola! Another day, another adventure maybe. Uh, we've just left our uh, hotel for the night, which was really nice. Uh, beautiful setting beside the lake. And uh, now we're heading probably a long, uh, small mountain range, I guess. Just a beautiful road though, very nice. And the plan is just to try and catch up to my original track for this area. But we've got about 90 kilometres or 100 kilometres to go to get there. Because we've taken a fair bit of a side track for our night's accommodation. But yeah, very nice outlook. The hills are reminding me of uh, what it looked like in Ireland. Uh, anyway, uh, adios amigos. Ah. We are pushing our way up uh, this mountain pass and everything is getting colder <laughs> by the meter. Uh, we're currently at about 1560 meters. Uh, I'm guessing we've still got another couple hundred to go. Whoop, rocks, holes. Um, yeah, the road disappears to the left over there. Uh, uh, but then it comes switches back to the right. So our pass will be over on the right hand side somewhere, I think. The road's a little bit bumpy. We are kind of in the middle of nowhere. 
there's a, a bit of a view back. I'll try and wobble not off over the edge. <laughs> but yeah, everything looks really nice. Just about to get into the cloud level as well. I'm hoping it's just cloud and not uh, the water content. Oh yeah, looks like the road's disappearing off on the left hand side. So they've taken half the road off us. It's a pretty decent view over there now. Yeah. <coughs> Here's the cloud. coming over pretty quick the wind is blowing it to uh, blowing it down the face of this hill yeah we are in the cloud we'll see how high we get we're at 1700 meters now so that's a couple of hundred quickly raised where we came up. <clears throat> oh, the clouds really pushing over the edge here. <clears throat> 